In this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to evaluate an API whenever API payload contains an XML. We are going to do that using message validation policy. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier format videos. Let's see how it works. Whenever a request comes to Apigee Edge and if the request contains an XML payload, then you want to match that XML payload against a schema definition. In this case, it's XST. So we would like to match the incoming payload with XST and if the payload matches the XST, then we want to send the request to the backend. Otherwise, we want to raise an exception and return the response back to the client saying that it is not the expected request to this particular API. And if it is not, then obviously we want to send the request to the backend and get the response. Let's see how to implement that and validate incoming payloads using XML schema definition in Apigee Edge. As you can see, I'm logged into Apigee Edge as an org administrator into an org called Apigee 4 mp 4 d You can use your personal org. Click on API proxies to create a simple uh, proxy to demonstrate the schema validation. Once you are in the API proxy listing screen, click on plus proxy to create a new proxy. Choose reverse proxy and click on next. I'm gonna give you the proxy name as XST validation. Change the proxy base path as slash v1 slash XST mock. I'm gonna give existing API as HTTP bin.org slash post. And then choose next. Choose authorization as pass through, choose defaults, build and deploy. Once proxy is deployed, let's make a simple API call and let's see how to validate the incoming XML log against XSD. So I have this endpoint, as you can see, if I copy this endpoint and make an API call using client like postman, I'm making an XML. As you can see, I'm sending few parameters like no to, from, heading and body. Let's say if I make an API call, I get the same response back. This particular endpoint is just acts like an echo response. It returns whatever the request we are sending. Let's say if you are sending something like a uh, bot message, it is also sent to the backend. Hey, hello, this is spam. But in our case, we would like to validate the incoming XML payload so that it supports only node to from heading and body, nothing else. So how can we validate and how can we stop payload attacks using XSTs? Let's see how to do that using message validation policy. So I'm gonna go back, click on develop. So we're going to attach a simple message validation policy that you can find it in the mediation. So I'm gonna choose SOAP message validation policy and I'm gonna choose the name as validate XML request and choose the file type as XST and then click on add. So we are going to give the XST to Apigee to validate against the incoming payload. So I have a simple XST as you can see here, note to from heading and body. This is what we are matching for. If any element is missing or any element is uh, present apart from these elements, then we're gonna write an exception. We have to do a couple of changes to the XSD policy. So make sure you remove SOAP message and element because we are not taking any room root element or we are not validating any SOAP envelope. And then click on save API proxy. Once API proxy is saved, to quickly uh, navigate to trace and start trace sessions to see it in action. As you can see, if I make an API call, anything apart from node to from heading and body, it should write an exception. Let's make an API call. As you can see, this particular message is actually uh, filtered by Apigee where you can see element name mismatch wildcard line number seven because we have an additional element called bot message. Let's remove the bot message. And you can also see in the trace, the valid XML request, the message validation policy raised an exception because it is not matching the XST. So if you make an API call with the right payload, as you can see, you got 200, right? And then if you remove any element, then again, you should see an error because we are expecting all these elements. There you go. Make sure you set a content type applications XML in the request so that Apache message validation policy can work properly. So that's how you can able to validate incoming payloads or even respond sometimes using message validation policy in Apache Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment at Apache.com. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to YouTube channel and share the video with your friends and colleagues.